Welcome back to another episode of Fox Can Fix It. It's going to be another 1982 Honda Civic episode, and today we're going to investigate the valve train noise coming from right down there. Let's go. First thing we got to do, now that the air cleaner's out of the way, is we've got to get this valve cover off. It's two 10 millimeter bolts, and it few wires and hoses need to be shoved out of the way and we'll get it out of here. <sighs> parts tray, important for this job. There's no place to put parts on this, it's flat. We are going to have to take, or it's gonna be easier to just take all of your spark plug wires off Leave them on the cylinder so you know which one's one, two, three, four, and you should have already marked your caps so you know which one's one, two, three, four. You just move this out of the way and you're done. This vacuum hose is on a bracket that's attached to the valve cover, so that just needs shoved out of the way. We'll just bend it around there. Uh, I don't know what that is, but that needs shoved out of the way, just like that. And then there's some cables and things, but once you've got those cables and things out of the way, this valve cover should come right off. Let's get that out of there. There you go. That valve cover could almost not be any easier. I mean, it could be slightly easier, but not by much. Here, come take a look at this valve setup. All right, so here is the valve train setup. It's a rocker shaft assembly. It's a double rocker shaft assembly, actually, on here. And this is your intake and exhaust valve. So it goes intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake. This over here is your auxiliary valve. It's really your CVCC magic. It is um, basically a small intake valve that is only fed by this tiny barrel. There are four individual runners that come through this intake that go to each one of these valves and it just gives you a rich mixture in a pre-chamber not unlike an older diesel where the glow plug goes into a smaller pre-chamber, heats that up, then kaboom. This one, however, then means you can run leaner mixtures off these other two because you've already lit this richer mixture and the flame just spreads across into the cylinder. And these are all mechanical valve lash adjustments. Here's your jam nut and here is your stud that's got the slot on the end of it for a slot screwdriver that when you spin it up or down, it will increase or decrease the amount of your valve lash. And then your auxiliary valve over here is basically just an extra intake valve. Ooh, look at that guy. That's way too much. Here's normal tiny tiny taps here's that guy that's gonna be a problem right there um, so we'll take a look at that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust all the valves because I believe these have probably never been adjusted or at least not in a very long time judging by this although it's pretty clean for in here for 200,000 miles we'll go through and set them all uh, your sticker on the hood right here is gonna tell you your valve lash right here intake main and auxiliary 15 thousandths, exhaust, 20 thousandths. And it's gotta be done with the engine cold. You cannot do this with the engine hot. All your settings will be way off. The adjustment on these is gonna be just like any other four stroke engine. It's gonna be EOIC. When the exhaust is opening, you do the intake side. When the intake is closing, you do the exhaust side. So spark plug wires are off, so I'm just gonna bump the starter and I'm going to get to a point where either the exhaust or the intake is doing what it's supposed to do and I'll do the other side, then we'll move on. Got it? Okay. Don't loosen these all up at once. It'll just create havoc one at a time. Hmm. Yep. These auxiliary valves are treated like intake valves, so we'll go through and we'll set those as well. Okay. Exhaust is opening, so we're going to do the intake side here. What you do is put your screwdriver in the slot, loosen the nut. So that way you keep that slot in the exact same space and you know where your initial setting is. Then you find your feeler gauges that you didn't get out yet. And you find your 15 thousandths, give or take one. There we go, 15 will work. And you're just going to slide it in between the end of the valve and the rocker arm. And you should have a slight amount of drag, but not a lot. That's actually, that one's perfect. Okay. We're going to lock this one back down. No changes needed. And there's a good chance that you may not have to adjust some of these, but you may have to adjust some of these. So that's why we're here. <clears throat> that's intake. 
Now I need to bump it and get. There we go. Let's do the exhaust side. That jam nut is kind of stuck to this adjuster, so let's put the screwdriver sideways and see if we can't loosen it up. Ooh. That didn't feel good, did it? No, it did not. All right, well, let's, let's, let's see where we're at before we do anything crazy. 20 thousandths here. That's tight. That's definitely too tight. There we go. Should be right there. Now, can I get this jam nut to cooperate? Hmm. Need another screwdriver. Oh, there we go. I broke loose a little bit. Okay. So now I need to hold this slot in place and get this, this jam nut to cooperate. There we go. Now I should have it loosened up maybe enough to be able to use it regular like. Yep. There we go. So it was just stuck from being on there forever. Um, you know, to be expected. Got to get back to my 20 thousandths on this. There we go. There's my drag. Okay. All right. Now, I think I should be able to lock this down and hold the screwdriver, but we'll see. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. A little bit of a fight, but two down. So cylinder number one is done. I've got to repeat that process one, two, three more times and come back and do the auxiliary valves individually just because I want to do that. I could have done them with the intake valves, but I, the way this is going, we're going to keep going in line and come back this way. So I'll put this in time lapse so you don't have to see everything, but that's what we're doing. So we got all the valves adjusted. All of them were way too tight, intake and exhaust. Auxiliary was okay, not too bad. But when I was bumping the engine over, I did notice something strange. I was getting a spray of fuel or oil or both somewhere around here. So I'm gonna do it again. Keep an eye right around this area. I'm going this way. Ready? You see that? That was coming from this auxiliary valve, or close to it. So, like I said, all of these are adjusted, and this is the auxiliary valve that's giving us some issues. I'm getting some sort of fluid, either oil or gas or both, it kind of smells like both, out of here. And I think it has a compression ring or some sort of O-ring, which I've already ordered, uh, basically a rebuild kit for it and a spare valve just in case. But I don't have it. So for today, I'm just going to put the valve cover back on because I don't want any debris getting down in here now that we have perfectly adjusted valves, except for that auxiliary valve thing right there. Well, it's adjusted. There's just stuff wrong with it. So we're going to put the valve cover back on. We're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.